Hey guys, this is Faith Hunter, and welcome to Spiritually Fly Sequences. Today's Spiritually Fly Sequence is a yin yoga practice strictly for the hips, inner and outer. You may need a pillow or a block for this, so go on and grab it. We're going to begin in a comfortable cross-leg position, and I have my buddy Sebastian helping me out with this practice. Cross your legs, close your eyes, and breathe deeply in and out through your nose. Our hips hold a significant amount of tension and emotional stress. So it's really, really important to release those tensions and to let it go. Slowly open your eyes, unravel your legs, come into your hands and knees. And let's take a little cat and cow pose here. So drop the belly, lift your chest, and as you exhale, round your back. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, round your back. Make sure your wrists are underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. Tops of the feet are pressing into the mat. As we release tension in the spine, that will definitely start to loosen up the hips. And if you notice, the pelvis is tilting and shifting as we move the body. Go on and make your way now into a little down dog. So curl the toes and straighten your legs. Spread your fingers wide, find a little movement. And then let's drop into our first posture, pigeon pose. Bring your right knee forward between your hands. And if you need to, you can slide a blanket underneath your right hip. And if not, just place it to the side. Go on and fold forward and relax. And of course, breathe deeply, extending your left leg behind you. Now, if this position is uncomfortable for you, you can always modify, come onto your back and come into a little figure four, crossing your right ankle above your left thigh and then threading the needle slide your hands behind your left hamstring and hold here and if you have a doggy assisting you maybe he'll lick your face so whichever position you opt for stay with your breath and allow your body to release naturally keeping your hips square if you are in our resting reclining pigeon or lazy pigeon, as I sometimes like to call it. Make sure your left foot and that big toe is pointing directly behind you. You can even place your forearms on a block, a pillow, and even rest your head there on the block or pillow. Or just simply soften it to the mat. Breathing deeply in through your nose. And if you need to, exhale out of your mouth. We're going to be here for a few more minutes. So if you need to adjust your body in any way, find a place of comfort and ease. Deep breath in, exhale. Breathing in and releasing. Letting go of all your worries. Softening in a little deeper. Allowing gravity to take over and open up those hips. area of our hips are governed by the second chakra. This area of the body is all about fluidity. So as we transition, slowly come out of your posture, unravel those legs, swing them a little bit from right to left as you hang out on your hands and knees, curl the toes under and straighten your legs for down dog, move around where you need to, pedal your feet, and shift the hips from right to left. Shake your head yes or no if you need to. And let's move on over to the left hip, sliding your left knee forward, extending your right leg behind you. Adjust your body where you need to. If you feel any pain or tension, you know that you can use your props or come onto your back for a figure four. When you're ready, bow forward. Now, since this area of the body is all about the second chakra and about fluidity, what happens is that when we are tight in our hips, 
Of course, it is a direct reflection of what's happening in our lives. We may be emotionally holding on to pain or suffering. We may sometimes feel a sense of being trapped. And I guarantee when you start to work in this area of the body, things start to flow a little bit easier in our lives. Don't get me wrong, things will happen. But also, with that sense of openness and freedom in your hips, you have the ability to simply go with the flow and deal much easier with the challenges that face you. Make any adjustments you need to in your body here on the second side. Stay with your breath. Deep inhale. Exhale. Deep inhale. Exhale. Make sure that right foot is extending far back and you're trying your best to let go. If you find yourself holding on in any way, breathe through it. Exhale out of the mouth. Check in with your body. See if you need to make any adjustments. Exhale. Inhale. And when you're ready, start to lift up. Once again, return to your hands and knees. Gently rock your hips from right to left. Move your spine if you need to. Do a little cat and cow. Find your own organic movement. Curl the toes. Straighten your legs for down dog. Feel free to pedal your feet, release the spine, press the heels into the mat, and then slowly release back onto the floor. So we're gonna take one more pose here and get into those inner thighs now, right there in the groin. So open the legs nice and wide, make sure your toes are pointing up towards the ceiling, and start to bow forward. Keep your spine long. Now the palms can hang out on the mat, that may be enough, or you can reach over and grab your block or place your hands on some books. Start to lean forward. And if you'd like, the forearms can lower to the mat. Once again, keep your heart coming forward and the back of your neck long as the toes point up. Be mindful not to open the legs too wide, so find that place that's gonna feel best for you. And again, gravity takes over. The breath allows the body to open and release. So you can start to shift and go a little deeper if you'd like. I'm gonna actually place my forehead here on the block and kind of stimulate my third eye in the process. Stay with your breath. Keep the po toes pointing up towards the ceiling. Breathing deeply, in and out through your nose. Make any adjustments. Your body should not be in pain. Find a place of comfort and ease. If it feels natural for you and you wanna go further, Slide your blocks or your pillow or our books out of the way and soften in a little bit deeper. Enjoy this time of stillness as you experience the sensation of openness and fluidity through your hips. Deep inhale, exhale. When you're ready, slowly lift up. Ah, oh, exhale. Swing those legs in 
And if you have any props in your way, just place them over to the side. And we're gonna take a little final relaxation here. So go ahead and bend your knees in towards your chest, give your body a hug and give your dog a scratch or your cat if you have one. <laughs> Round the back, maybe straighten those legs, flex it, point the feet, rotate the ankles, do what any movements your body needs. Make little circles with those legs. Massage your lower back and sacrum and even around the back if you'd like. Extend those legs wide across your mat. Release your arms alongside your hips, palms facing up, and even allow the arms to float out at an angle. Exhale out of your mouth, then let go of your breath. Soften the tongue in your mouth. Allow your eyelids to rest heavy over your eyes. Give yourself this time to absorb all the benefits of your yin practice as you released tension through your hips and created a sense of freedom, openness, and fluidity. Feel free to stay here as long as you like. Enjoy, relax, and let go. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and of course subscribe so you can receive more of my yoga, meditation, and lifestyle tips. You can also find and connect with me on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat, where I am Spiritually Fly. And of course, you can find me on Twitter, where I am Faith Hunter Yoga. Thanks so much, guys, for joining me here. And you know, we are in this together. So let's continue to get spiritually fly.